All right, beautiful. We alive, we alive for this live class on a beautiful Wednesday afternoon. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to this class where we're going to be exploring the various forms of spiritual healing um, for womb pain, right? Yeah. And yeah, so we're going to be here for like, I don't know, <laughs> 30 to an hour, 30 minutes to an hour, just yeah, engaging in conversation about just like various forms of womb pain and how these might manifest right and also looking at the forms of spiritual healing that can be employed to facilitate healing for yeah for whatever form of pain that you're currently experiencing in in your womb space right um yes so this conversation you know as i often say that um, wombs are not necessarily just um, a woman thing you know gentlemen also have an energetic womb space right so this conversation is really also open to you you know for your own learning um, and the expansion of your own awareness and education right awesome so for those who don't know me my name is Dumelo and I am a Botswana-based spiritual healer and I am a womb healer helping mostly women leaders to heal their inner womb pains and inner womb wounds, right, such that they may experience pleasure, joy and freedom in their bodies, right? Yeah. So the conversation that we're having today is not necessarily a new one. Right, we're just wanting to bring in um, other layers to the conversation, right? Yes, um, because I have been like um, expanding my body of work and adding, you know, more tools, more, more and new modalities, you know, that um, I'm offering through my work, right? Awesome, great. So when when we're speaking of womb pain, right, we're essentially speaking of any pain um, or any pain body that you might experience in in your womb space. Right. So, yeah, anything that does not feel in alignment. Right. Or that um, feels like a hurt or like a discomfort in your womb space, right? That would be something we would categorize as a pain, right? It does not necessarily have to be a pain that you feel, but really any form of misalignment or discomfort um, or an inner wounding right that might manifest in various ways in your womb space and we're going to explore that today right yes so for those joining in please say hi to me so that i can know you're in the room right <laughs> awesome um so these are the different these are the different examples of womb pain that we're going to work with right specifically for women you know we're speaking of um heavy bleeding menstrual cramping um prolonged bleeding you know where you might have very long periods right um maybe extending to periods such as like seven days long right um other forms of womb pain include like cysts the development of cysts um the development of fibroids endometriosis those are also, you know, forms of womb pain. It's pain that you might feel in your womb space, right? And um, other forms, you know, like another layer of womb pain would include um, experiences such like miscarriages, right? Like that is a painful event that is happening within your womb space, right? 
and that will cause you pain that might also result in pain you know for your loved ones right um yes and we're also speaking of like stillbirths right um yes and um abortions are also a form of womb pain right um and you know anything to do with um you know any discomfort any ailment around pregnancy you know that um we would like consider not necessarily like an organic or a fulfilling experience of pregnancy with regards to or related to your womb space right um yeah so those are dif the different types of of womb pain you know that you as a woman might experience in your life right and you know if we're to go deeper you know now extending it to the field of womb medicine right and this is where you gentlemen you will now be um you'll begin to see you know how this conversation speaks to you right um yeah so in that bigger realm of womb medicine you know um matters of matters of intimacy of intimate relationships matters of your sexuality and your sensuality right how you experience your sexuality how you experience your sensuality how you experience matters of intimacy you know the wellness of those areas in your life um speak to the the overall wellness of like your 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 creation space your creation to your creation portal you know which is also connected to the sacral chakra right yeah but for today we're going to be speaking to these womb pains um and specifically relating to the experiences of women right and so the first thing like usually like when we're doing when we're doing healing work right the almost like the first pit stop that we want to make is just a, a deep interrogation and a deep exploration of the source or the origin of your pain all right so what we're interested in here and what i personally am interested in in this work uh, personally and professionally you know <laughs> um like my approach and my deepest passion and interest in this work is for us to heal our various pains and our various traumas at their source or at their root all right um my intention is um for us to not focus so much on just healing or easing the symptoms right but attending to the root of this pain um oh yes 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 Roy. i had forgotten that one so womb healing also includes matters of you know infertility right or just any experience or any yeah or any struggle that a woman or a man um might experience in yeah struggling to conceive right yes so womb pain includes that as well um so when we're speaking of like this creation space or the creative portal um that capacity to create includes the capacity to create um human babies right or the capacity to create um whatever it is that we might we might want to want to to create in our lives right and so um when there is like a block this is the word i've been looking for <laughs> so when there is a block in that area right when we experience struggles or difficulties in that area specifically here in response to your question roy when we're struggling to conceive yes that is a womb pain right and um something that we can attend to by um in playing various modalities you know of healing uh, specifically focusing on our creation space our cre our creation portal and um attending to whatever the origin or the source of that pain might be right yeah so which is this is where i was at right so right at the beginning of the work we want 
to explore. We want to interrogate all of our lives, right? Looking at the various experiences that you as an individual might have had in your life, right? And that might have resulted or that might have informed or birthed this pain that you're experiencing in your life, right? Yeah, so last week we had a conversation on generational trauma, right? And I actually gave you guys some homework to go do, right? Roy, please let me know if your question has been answered. Yeah, so I actually gave you guys some homework to go do last week, right? <laughs> um, essentially, I asked you guys to go do your own generational... Um, it's really an ancestral map, right? Of just... Um, Penning or writing down the members of of your lineage, right? Awesome, thank you. Yeah, so one of the things that we want to do, and this is with the awareness or the appreciation that whatever we experience in our lives, we're usually the first ones to experience those things, right? And so when we're wanting to do a holistic healing, right? And I usually just use the, the phrase spiritual healing to speak to a healing that is very holistic, right? That speaks to the spiritual, the emotional, the somatic or the physical, um, and also the psychological, right? So when we're wanting to speak to all these levels, right? First, we want to see um, what might be the root, what might be the cause of, of this pain that you're experiencing in your life, right? And we also want to look at your ancestral map, right? Um, has anybody in your lineage ever experienced this pain that you are currently moving through in your life, right? And so if it might be difficulties to conceive, we want to see, right? Um, has there been women or has, has there been men in your lineage who have struggled to conceive, right? One is at the ancestral level, right? And then secondly, we also want to see, right? Um, whether there might have been any significant like event or experience in your life that might have been traumatic, not necessarily a big event because a traumatic event can be something very simple or something very short, you know, in duration, right? So we want to see might there have been any experience in the breath of your life as far as you remember, you know, um, that might have, you know, resulted in this pain that you're currently experiencing in your life, right? And usually if, if that might be difficult to, to, to put a pin on, first we just want to see like, like when, yeah, when might have been the first time that this pain might have started to, to surface in your life, you know? Um, essentially, we want to begin to, to study the patterns, you know, of, of the origins or of the source or of the initial emergence, you know, of this pain in your life with the core intention of identifying its origin, its source, right? And also whether it's something that might be ancestral in nature, you know, whether it's something that is active within the lineage, right? such that we can attend to it at that level, right? Yeah. And so this speaks to all forms of womb pain, you know, even if it might be um, like the prolonged, um, prolonged periods or um, severe menstrual cramps, right? Um, even the miscarriages and, and the abortions, right? Um, or stillbirths, like we want to see, might there be a pattern within your lineage, right? That speaks to your specific experience, right? Such that we may attend to it um, at that level, right? So that is very, very key, yeah? And so what we're wanting to, what we're wanting to see, appreciate or understand here is that whatever form of pain you're experiencing, um, most often, right, it has a much deeper underlying root or source, right? And so we want to do a healing work that speaks to that root, that speaks to that original wounding or 
um, original occurrence of the pain or of the trauma, right? Yeah, such that, yeah, we're not just dealing with the symptoms, right? Yeah. Um, and, you know, like, huh. our wombs are such sacred sacred beings right um such that whatever it is that might happen to you or might happen with or relating to your to your womb that is traumatic it will leave an imprint right within your womb space right um i'm reminded of the conversation that we had as we're exploring like the forms of healing for sexual trauma right um so sometimes if there has been such a deep trauma right you might much later in your life experience different manifestations of that pain that was um sustained by your womb right um and some of that pain might look like what we're talking about here right um yeah that severe bleeding those severe pains abdominal pains um or even much much earlier or a menopause that has come super super earlier than you had had expected it right yeah so we're also wanting to look at like super premature menopause right yeah so where you stop getting your periods like very early in your 40s or even in your late 30s right so we would want to see what is it that has resulted in your womb um experiencing herself or expressing herself as she is right i hope this makes sense <laughs> let me know if if you might have any questions right yeah so for me that is really the the most important piece of the work right um yeah just looking at spiritually looking at <laughs> And just asking for guidance around what the source of your pain might be so that we may attend to that source right and so given what the original wounding might be you know then that's what would inform the the form of treatment or um the specific yeah healing work or regimen that we would immerse you in to facilitate healing for this pain right yeah and so as mentioned for me i'm deeply deeply interested in a holistic form of healing right that speaks to your spiritual body that speaks to your emotional body that speaks to your physical body and also that speaks to the mental right the psychological aspect of you right and this is the reason why um so some of the imprint of that pain would have been felt at the level of your spirit body right um or and sometimes the pain might be flowing from different lifetime experiences of your soul or of your spirit right and so if that is the case we would want to facilitate um healing for your spiritual body right and whatever whatever the initial trauma or the initial wounding might have been right it might have left an imprint on your emotional body right this is almost always the case right and so we want to facilitate healing for your emotional body right and um and release um yeah the imprint on your emotional body i'm looking for yeah <laughs> another another phrase for it right so what we find is that oftentimes right one of the sources of womb pain is unprocessed emotions right um and for both men and women right so we find that whatever your life experience you might have gone through yeah various events or various experiences in your life in your life's journey when you have you have encountered many and various things right that would have brought up various emotions right 
And so if it so happens that there hasn't necessarily been a clear channel to process and to release those emotions, they become held within your body. And now what we're experiencing is that our womb spaces tend to hold these emotions, right? Say it's a grief or a sadness or shame um, or just a deep pain that you never fully moved through. You find that your womb will try to express and kind of like <laughs> to, to process um, these emotions and this pain and whatever like, yeah heavy emotion you might be holding in your womb space and this can manifest as a pain. I hope that makes sense, right? And so we want in the emotional healing aspect of the work, we want to hold space for you such that you may one, fully feel these emotions and then release them out of your body, right? Um, so we, we can find that things such as like heavy bleeding, or like severe menstrual cramping right oftentimes they might be as a result of unprocessed emotions right and so we want to do that work of yeah diving deeply into your emotional body identifying the specific emotions that are held within your body relating to whatever the initial trauma will be that will reveal itself right and release those emotions right yeah so um yeah like these things like they often clarify themselves when we step into a healing session right um yeah usually what will happen we the way i work because i work a lot with spirit um there will highly likely be guidance on the specific trauma or the specific pain or the specific event that we're working with and that resulted in your pain, right? And so as we dive into that work, it was with that guidance, you know, that is what will guide us in terms of um, what the emotions are related to, right? And also, what the specific beliefs or vows or stories you might be holding about your life or you might be holding about yourself that that could also be informing this pain, right? And so we, when we're speaking of the beliefs, the vows, um, the stories that might be holding this pain in place, we are now speaking of that psychological healing aspect of the work, Right. Yeah, where we want to see in the event of the initial wounding, right? What vows might have been made, right? What beliefs might have been set, like kind of like cast on stone, right? What stories might you hold to be true about yourself, about your body, about your the experience about yeah, about how you get to experience your womb as a woman right and that might be holding that pain in place right um and so you'll see that we're speaking of like just different like different layers of of the work right so when when you do want to dive into this work i mean yeah if you to work with me you have the option of just um a once of single session all right where we will most definitely dive into the emotional healing aspect of the work and the spiritual healing aspect of the work, right? And so also if you wanted to go even deeper, all right, also exploring, exploring the psychological element um, of the healing work and also exploring um, the somatic as aspect of the healing work, that would likely be um a a work that will be more than just one session long right yes which is also a possibility um so yeah the thing with healing work is if we want to see um deeper and greater results right yeah we would want to invest more time invest more energy um in that healing work right awesome so Yes, one is we want to see 
what might be the source, what might be the origin of this womb pain, right? And that will inform um, the healing work that we will then dive into. So when you book a once-off session with me, we're definitely going to do um, a quantum repatterning of your inner landscape, right? Um, and essentially just rewiring the landscape of your emotional body, right? Identifying the specific emotions relating to that body, um, to that pain, right? Or to that initial um, event of the trauma, right? And that might actually be causing this disease within your womb. Um, emotions are such... <laughs> um, stagnant emotions can lead to like a physical disease right what we often experience as like disease in our bodies often started as emotions that were never processed that were never moved within our bodies and that were never moved out of our bodies right and so that is why the work with your emotional body is so key, right? Um, yeah, because most of the wound pains, right? Yeah, um, they can be traced to whatever form of emotion that was never really moved out of the body, right? Yes. Um, mm, I don't know what else I'm forgetting. Let me know if you might have any questions. Yeah. I think for me, just what is key is just to realize that um, there is often, almost always, an underlying source or an underlying origin for the pain that you might be experiencing in your life, right? It's not just a thing that came out of the blues and that is just affecting you and nobody else and yeah we can literally sit down and do the work um see where it might be coming from right and begin to do the work to facilitate healing for that pain right um yeah just yeah employing different modalities right yes and so over and above that healing work that we could do together or that you could do with with a healer um, there are things that are, I always recommend to women, right? <laughs> if you find yourself experiencing any form of pain in your body, even if you are not experiencing any form of pain in your body, um, we as women are called to build relationships with our bodies, right? So sometimes even that pain could be a signal to your body saying, hey, I desire a much more intimate relationship with you, right? Um, or it could be a signal to say, please look at me or please pay particular attention to me as your body, right? And so first invitation, just you in your um, personal individual space is to start cultivating a relationship with your body, to learn the cues, to learn the movements of your body, all right, um, to learn what specific um, signals by your body mean, right? Um, if she is experiencing this particular um, form of pain, exactly what, the, what does that mean? If she's experiencing this particular form of pain at this particular time of the month, what does that mean, right? And so one of the tools that I have for that, right, and which I speak about a lot <laughs> is when I want to invite you to begin to learn, educate yourself on your inner seasons as a woman, right? So in doing that, one, you're going to begin to learn more about your body. You're going to begin to educate yourself more about your body. Three, you're going to begin to get more intimate with your body. All right. And as a result, you begin to have a much more deeper, intentional and um, uh, relationship with your body where essentially you see and you hear 
your body is conscious, a more conscious relationship with your body. All right. Yeah. And so in that practice of, you know, learning about your inner seasons, I would also invite you to practice menstrual cycle awareness, right? So essentially your inner seasons is an invitation in getting to learn more about your cycle as a woman, right? And as you're doing that, I would also invite you to begin to track and to become aware of what happens within your cycle as a woman, right? So when we do this, if you're to reach your menstrual period and you're experiencing pain, we can literally go back into your cycle and also see what is, what is it that might have happened within your cycle that might be informing this pain right now, okay? And we can go even further um, to also look at what might have happened in your entire experience of you as a menstruating body, right? From the experience of your first menstrual period that might be informing or that might have resulted in this pain, right? Um, Yeah, so we also get to look at that experience of your menstrual period, you know, um, the teachings, the experiences, the emotions around that, right? That might be informing your pain right now as an adult woman, right? Yeah. And so as mentioned, this work can be a single session, a single healing session work, right? Or a much more extended um, work either over three months or six months, right? Of just dive, diving really deep into your your life's journey and the experiences within your life that might be informing this pain and also looking at um, the experiences of your ancestors as well. So sometimes the pain that you might experience in this lifetime might be flowing from previous generations, you know, or the trauma experienced by your ancestors, you know. And um, we want to also bring in, you know, what we have learned about, you know, colonization on our continent, um, the slavery era, the slave trade, our ancestors went through quite a lot that we right now as the current generation are beginning to see a manifestation of that trauma, right? So whatever sexual trauma might have taken place 300, four years ago, right? Um, as, as, as these slave traders or the settlers were initially moving through our lands, right? Um, can begin to surface now, you know, in the form of um, wound pain such as cysts, fibroids, you know, um, endometriosis, um, just growths within the womb space, right? Some of them are coming from from those eras, right? And so we want to see because people are different, people are unique, right? So we would want to see exactly what it is within your own ancestral experience and your own individual experience that is informing your pain, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, how how do you mean, um, Roy, how to recommend your services to other people, any do's and or don'ts, right? Um, or do you mean if you were to to share with somebody about my work? I think that's what you mean, right? Yeah, so just confirm for me if I understand that. So for people who are new to this work or who are coming about my work for the first time, I usually recommend that you start with like a once off healing session, right? Um, Just to get a taste of the work and also just to experience working with me. And then after that, we can see if we might want to work together over a much longer um, period of time, which is usually six months, right? Um... And yeah, that's that's basically it. Um, yes, please clarify that question, Roy, such that yeah, I may answer it um, much more directly. Okay, awesome. 
So, yes, we're speaking about what you can do, right, in your own individual and personal space. Building a, a conscious relationship with your body. Yes, because <laughs> we literally have a whole podcast episode on this, right? Uh, because of our conditioning and our upbringing, a lot of us as women and men as well, right? Um, we are like we have been conditioned or socialized out of relationship with our bodies, right? And so we're finding this invitation during this time in our history, right? Um, where we're being invited back into relationship with our bodies, right? And so if you find yourself wondering, how do I even do that, right? I have suggestions for how you can do that, right? One of them, I just spoke about them. You want to learn about your inner seasons as a woman, right? Um, you want to um, become more aware, more conscious of your menstrual cycle, right? And journey with that and track that cycle. And yeah, I was, I was thinking this morning that one of my most, my most used apps on my phone after social media is my cycle tracking app right so yeah like you know like by just just by looking at that app and becoming conscious of where you're at in your cycle that begins to cultivate a sense of awareness of where your body is at right i also have like written resources about that on my blog i have a blog post on understanding um, menstrual cycle awareness that i would invite you to go read right yeah, so just go to the link in my bio and there's a tab there that will take you to my blog, okay? Um, and I also have done a, a podcast episode on how to build a conscious relationship with your body, right? So the link to the podcast is also on my, on my bio link, right? And yes, like just go see the different ways in which you can begin to to build a relationship with your body, to become more aware of this vessel, to become more alive to this vessel that is your body so that you may begin to learn her language, to learn and understand her cues and what they mean, right? So that you can better take care of your body, all right? Yes. So, mm, yeah, that's, that's, that's really about it. <laughs> that I wanted to share, right? Key, we want to explore the origin of your pain, right? Because that will then inform um, how we go about healing that pain, all right? Yeah. So um, in my work, you can either um, work with me virtually, you know, there's work that we can do in a virtual online setting, right? And there's also work that we can do in an in-person setting, right? Um, so for those who are closer to where I am, I'm based in Botswana, you know, um, that would also offer us the, um, the opportunity to work with some herbal medicine, you know, to facilitate healing for your body. Um, yeah, things such as like fibroid cysts, um, period pains or just pain in your womb there is some organic herbal medicine that i can share with you for that right hopefully in the future <laughs> i'll be able to 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 sheep this to wherever in the world you guys might be but for now yeah i only have them available for those who are able to come see me in person right yes so with this we're really wanting to attend to your pain at a holistic level right um at an emotional level at a spiritual level um at a physical level somatically right and also at a psychological level right um to clear the debris to clear the imprint of all of the events and the experiences that you might have encountered or that might have been counted by your ancestors or just members of your lineage. Ancestors also include your mother, right? And your father. 
right? That might be informing this pain, okay? Um, and sometimes the pain is inherited, you know, while we're still in our mother's wombs, all right? So we want to see at, we, we also would, would also want to look at um, the patterns or the forms of pain that I carried within your mother line, right? Or your father line, wherever this pain might be coming from, right? The beauty of the work <laughs> is that, you know, once you step into it, these things be begin to, to clarify themselves and we're able to begin to see the patterns, we're able to see where this pain might be flowing from, you know, what the cause, what the origin might be, right? And that's what we will work with, yeah? Yes, okay. Um, I also have a blog post um, titled Womb Healing 101, what you need to know about womb healing. So you can also check that out. If you go to, yeah, the link in my bio, there's also a tab there leading to this blog post right and also just with the the different ways in which you you can work with me yeah okay any questions let me know um because yeah this this kind of it concludes um our conversation for today so please let me know if you might have um any questions for what you're currently experiencing in your life if you might have any questions that that i could help with or or provide um guidance you know with regards to what you could do to ease um to ease some of your pain right um yeah and as mentioned earlier right um womb pains also include we've had conversations about individuals who might be struggling to conceive um at the moment i'm only i'm only able to offer these to women so specifically speaking to women who are struggling to conceive that is a form of womb pain right um so i do have um offers or services that can help you right and so i would suggest that let's just start with a once off session right um to you know even in this work we want to do a diagnosis you know just do a deep dive and look at um what it is that informs this pain and how we can we can facilitate healing for it right um yeah even women who might be experiencing miscarriages or stillbirths that is a form of wound pain and that is work that um I, I help women with as well, right? Um, and there's also the option if you want to go further and also do like a physical cleansing for miscarriages, for stillbirths, for the loss of an infant child, um, for abortions. Yeah, that is within the, um, the work that I offer as well. So yeah, you can just go to the link in my bio. Um, and then go to where you book a, a two hour private healing session and you'll get more more information on the themes that um, we can explore in a once off session. OK, you can also go there to read about um, my six months private healing program. Right. For you who might want to work with me for much longer. OK. And even if you, even if you might feel like right now isn't the time yet to work with me, or even if um, it's not something you need, right? I always just recommend people, if you're here watching a live stream, um, if it's something, if this is something that vaguely interests you, you can just go read um, and expand your own awareness and expand your own understanding of these issues, right? So in this once of session, I have written um, quite a bit there that you can go read. And even within the six months private healing program, there's quite a bit there that um, I've written on my website, you know, relating to the various 
um, layers, the various bodies of work that can be done within the much bigger realm of wound medicine, right? So go check that out. You know, this might just give you some ideas of the forms of healing that you might want to invest in for your life, for your body, for your womb, etc. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so yeah that's that's about it for today right um and yeah if you have any questions or if you're watching this as a replay you can yeah leave a comment or drop me a dm and i would be very happy to help okay so yeah until next week we just have one last um live stream that we're going to do next week and then we will be returning to the podcast right yes okay bye